about strong personalities. They're the kind of people that are somewhat difficult to deal with at times. Maybe they have a dominant personality. Maybe they are combative or argumentative or they always have to be right. Some of this sounds familiar. Maybe I should look at my own self. No. I am a strong personality, but let me tell you how to deal with strong personalities because I've dealt with strong personalities in family situations, in a work environment. I've had uh, friends and mentors that were driver personalities. And by driver, I just mean like they're very short, straight to the point, they want answers. It's like that. They keep you on your toes for sure. But strong personalities just require a little bit of finesse and confidence to deal with them. Let me give you an example of what I dealt with earlier today. So I'm on a board with three other members, one of which is completely silent. She's non-combative, doesn't want, non-confrontational, right? Um, the second in line is a strong personality, but in a good way. She gets things done. She's resourceful. She's easy to communicate with. Very great to have on a board. And then we have the president. And the president, hmm, how shall I describe her? She's moody. <laughs> so if you catch her on the wrong day at the wrong time, she'll chew your head off that can be difficult to deal with. She hasn't done it to me because I'm new to the board. However, you know how you can feel that someone's talking about you behind your back? That kind of thing. Doesn't bother me, doesn't phase me one bit. Do I know it's happening? Sure. How do I know it's happening? Because she's talking about other people behind their backs. So, Here's what I wanted to communicate with her about. Specifically, I had two things on my agenda. So this board that I'm on is for one of my son's sporting activities. And I've missed the last few tournaments because I had previous engagements and previous commitments, right? So I wasn't able to um, go to these tournaments. And my son understood, the coach understood, I told the other board members, hey, listen, I've got this commitment. It is what it is. So I've heard from some of the other parents uh, that my kids are friends with and from a lot of other people just in passing. I've heard that the tournaments are not organized. There's no preparation. It's, it's a shit show, basically. And me being a board member, although I haven't attended these tournaments and seen it from my own two, from my own two eyes, I did go to a match yesterday and I can see where things could be a little disorganized and there's not enough communication happening. So here's what happened at the last tournament a couple of weeks ago. The head coach who is stretched very thin but he does a great job. He's very determined and he really cares about the kids and the sport. He is um, sometimes communicates things at the last minute or sometimes he forgets to communicate them because he is stretched so thin. And I realized this. So I offered to, I wanted to have a phone conversation with him and with the president of this club separately because I wanted to hear what she had to say and I wanted to hear what he had to say. And they were two very different things that came out of their mouths. I, and they're both strong personalities. So my conversation with her happened first. And basically I approached it as, how can I help? I'm a new member of the board I love what you guys have going on, I, and, and I do. I, I love the sport, I love the kids, and 
I, I think the coach, his heart is in the right place and he is a good coach. So <clears throat> I asked her, I said, how can I help? Utilize me. I'm here. I'm asking you to, you know, hey, I'm here. What do you need help with? And I asked, and she said, oh, nothing. We've got everything under control. Okay. So then I phrased it a little bit differently, right? Because maybe she's seeing it as I'm trying to like correct something that she's doing wrong. Whereas I'm just trying to help. So I kept going with that. And I said, explain to me how all of this works. Like the tournaments that are at home, the tournament tournaments that are not at home, like at a different location. And then the matches, like the just couple of hours after school. And she explained to me how all of it works. And I asked her, I said, what is it that we do? At, what, what is it, why does the board exist? And she explained it to me. And I said, okay. I said, if there's ever anything that you need help with, or you just might have too much on your plate, please reach out to me. And so we, we ended on a positive note. She has trouble giving up control. And I think that's where the problem lies is that she's not willing to, to delegate because she wants to do it all herself, but then she gets overwhelmed. So then it turns into a shit show. So that's the president. We're going to just put that in a little box right there. <clears throat> now we have the coach. Um, he got defensive when I asked for 20 minutes of his time. And then he realized that he was getting defensive in the same text message thread. And he said, I can call you at this time. <clears throat> I didn't see his message right away. So at the time that I read the message, my phone was ringing and he was calling. Not a big problem. I asked for the time. I took that time and I took the call. <clears throat> and then I realized while I was talking to him that just how thin he is spread. And I realized that there's three coaches, there's him and two other guys. There's a lack of communication between the coaches also. So I asked him, I, I, I said, I can help. How can I help? What can I do for you as a board member and as a parent to just take a little bit of the load off? Maybe there's a couple tasks you can give me and then I can feel included in the club and in the board and we can just be a well-oiled machine. We'll, we'll slowly get there. <clears throat> so he told me one thing that I could do to help him out and he seemed really relieved that I was even willing to do this. And all it's going to take is a phone call, a follow-up message, and then a message out to the rest of the parents. That's it. That will take all of 20, 30 minutes of my time to help the coach out so that he doesn't have to deal with that and he can focus on doing what he's there to do, which is coach. So just dealing with strong personalities it takes a little bit of finesse. They can be difficult. Always come from a place of you're not attacking them. You're just offering your help. You're extending a helping hand. That's always gonna be the best way to go about things. And like I said, we've all dealt with those strong personalities, those difficult people, and all they want to do is be heard. And when you offer to help them, they realize that you're not trying to step on any toes, you're just offering to help. And that's the best thing you can do. Cheers.